Seeking the best folding saw. Our team of experts examined over 40 options and then purchased the top 8 for extensive side-by-side -side tests. We realize how challenging it can be to find the right product, so we examined each saw in detail so that we could share with you our findings on quality and durability, handle construction slash ergonomics, blade sharpness and strength, sawing performance, and packability slash features. Whether you use a saw for cutting firewood, hunting, as a survival kit, or simply for yard work pruning purposes, we compared each, guided by the sole mission of helping you quickly and painlessly find the best saw for your needs. The first product on our list is Corona Razor Tooth. The Corona Razor Tooth is a compact, aggressive, and fast saw. It features a simple locking mechanism that secures the sharp blade open while you're sawing or closed while the blade is stowed. The locking mechanism is cleverly placed at a far enough distance from your hand that it isn't likely that you will press it when using the saw. The co-molded, bicolored handle is very ergonomic and practically grabs your hand with a soft rubber grip, and there is also a large triangular-shaped opening to attach a lanyard to. The razor-sharp curved blade is super aggressive, with a 7 inches 65 mn spring steel blade with a triple ground tooth pattern for penetrating tough bone and wood. This saw cut through a 4 and a half inches diameter log in just 24 seconds, the fastest in our testing. The aggressive blade and ergonomic handle also noticeably reduced sawing fatigue. In our experience, this saw was the most fun to use, and we didn't want to put it down. Whether you are cutting firewood or trimming branches, the Corona will make quick work of your task at hand. It comes in either 7 inches, 8 inches, or 10 inches blade lengths, for cutting 3 inches, 4 inches, or 5 to 6 diameter branches respectively. The curved blade might be too aggressive for cutting smaller branches and is designed to cut with a pulling motion. Other than that, the Corona cuts fast, is as sharp as it looks, and exceeded our expectations. The second product is Rexpetti Heavy Duty. The Rexpetti Heavy Duty comes with an SK-5 steel blade with staggered, triple cut teeth, a long rubber handle, and a lifetime warranty. Despite being one of the lowest priced saws we tested, it performed super well, cutting through a four and a half inches diameter log in one minute, four seconds. This saw's 11 inches long blade has no trouble shredding through six minus seven diameter branches. The locking mechanism is bright orange, making it simple to distinguish from the black handle grip, keeping you from accidentally folding or unfolding. For cutting larger diameter logs, the Rex Betty performs well and won't cost you an arm and a leg, as long as you're careful while sawing. With a longer blade comes less rigidity, which we noticed while testing the Rex Betty. Compared to the Sven saw and the Coglins, which both have a triangular frame to support the blade, the Rex Betty's blade doesn't quite have the stiffness necessary to cut bigger logs. That being said, it is rigid enough to make the cut, so long as you focus on starting your cut straight and plumb. It probably isn't the best saw to take on overnight backpacking trips due to its weight and bulk, but for car camping or yard work, it should suit your needs very well. The next product is Wicked Tough Hand Saw. The Wicked Tough Hand Saw definitely lives up to its name. This burly saw comes with a wicked high carbon steel blade, which has a heavy gauge that resists bending and breaking. Its rugged cast aluminum handle is wrapped in a rubber grip with indentations for fingers, making it ergonomic and high friction. Surprisingly, its cutting time was on the slower side, at 1 minute, 16 seconds to saw through a 4 and a half inches diameter log. Compared to the Corona and the Silky Pocket Boy, it took twice as long to saw through the same diameter branch. Sometimes we get what we pay for. The Wicked is a bit pricier than the Corona and the Silky Pocket Boy, but its construction is also a bit beefier. It also comes with a scabbard that is pretty darn tough for tree work when you want your saw securely stored but easy to access. Unfortunately, the saw and the scabbard are somewhat heavy, so this combo pack probably isn't the ticket if you're looking for a lightweight hand saw. However, if you like burly gear that you can beat up, and weight isn't a concern, this saw was the toughest of them all. The next product in our list is Coglin's Folding. 
The Coglan's folding saw has an anodized aluminum frame with riveted plastic hinges and a folding plastic handle. It is also outfitted with a very nice Danish crafted wood cutting blade. It assembles easily into a triangular shaped frame using tension. You will find it much quicker and simpler to put together than the Sven saw. While the Coglan's is a good triangular frame saw, its plastic hinge construction under tension is not the strongest design. However, we did not experience any failure of the plastic during our testing. With a cutting time of 1 minute, 13 seconds, the Coglan's also took quite a bit longer than the 35 seconds it took the Sven saw to cut through a 4 and a half inches diameter log. If funds are tight and you're seeking a triangular frame saw that is a breeze to fold and unfold, check out the Coglan's. The next product is Silky Pocket Boy 170mm. The Silky Pocket Boy comes with a rust-resistant, hard-chrome plated Japanese blade that cuts very smoothly. While the Corona sliced through a 4 and a half inches diameter log more quickly in a mere 24 seconds, the Silky Pocket Boy had a smoother feel to it and still had a speedy time of 31 seconds, even with a broken tip. The Silky folds to a fairly compact size and has a clear case with a metal clip that can be attached to your belt. The clip can be slid onto a belt for quick storage, or the belt can be threaded through the clip for longer time frames to prevent dropping the saw. During our testing, the blade of the Silky broke while sawing after the tip momentarily caught, bending the blade and snapping three quarters of an inch from its tip. We were still able to cut a log quickly, even with the broken tip, but a bent blade is simply no fun to saw with. While the locking mechanism is simple to use, the handle is somewhat short, so if you were to extend your thumb while sawing, it's possible to accidentally depress the locking mechanism, thereby unlocking the saw. Compared to the handle of the Corona, the Silkies isn't quite as ergonomic, and we found ourselves overgripping a bit while we were sawing. One cool feature of the locking mechanism is that it has two positions, allowing the saw to be used in a slightly different orientation to saw in hard-to-reach places, or simply to achieve a different angle while sawing. When folding the blade back into the handle, the blade has to be centered, otherwise, it tends to hit the rubber grip. You could imagine this damaging the soft grip over time if one is not diligent enough while folding the blade in. While we discovered during our testing that the blade we were using wasn't durable enough when it broke, the Silky Pocket Boy is a good saw with very smooth cutting action. The next product is Sportsman Industries 36-inch Pocket Chainsaw. The Sportsman Industries 36-inch Pocket Chainsaw comes with a high-carbon steel chain that can be resharpened with a round chainsaw file. The rugged handle is cross-stitched, and the pocket chainsaw can be stored in its heavy-duty nylon storage pouch and attached to your belt buckle loop. It can also be used to cut limbs high up in a tree by attaching a rope to the handles. For survivalists, this pocket chainsaw comes with a fire starter kit that includes a scraper and flint. Simply scrape magnesium from the flint into a pile of lint, from your dryer at home, and then strike the edge of the scraper on the flint to create a spark, lighting the lint on fire. Then use the branches you cut with your pocket chainsaw to grow your fire and build a shelter, and you'll have a bit of protection from the elements if you get lost overnight in the woods. The idea of a pocket chainsaw is good for survival purposes, but when cutting limbs out of reach and cutting larger diameter logs, they are very strenuous to use, and making cuts is time-consuming. We tested the Sportsman Industries 36-inch pocket chainsaw multiple times, and it was a serious workout. Sawing through a 5 inches diameter lock took 2 minutes, 59 seconds, much longer than other hand saws in this review. We also experienced some lower back strain from the awkward upward sawing motion while cutting a log on the forest floor. You might also find that the chain gets kinked very easily, and you'll spend some time undoing those kinks when you pull the pocket chainsaw out of its storage pouch. However, if you're looking for a workout while cutting wood and you want a compact saw that comes with a fire starter kit, check out the Sportsman Industries Pocket Chainsaw. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.